Hi guys, black box here. The day has finally arrived. FS Labs have published the A320X for P3D version 4.1. And that means I can also finally do some more videos um, on this beautiful aircraft add-on. So to start off the new series of videos that will be coming out over the next couple of weeks, we'll start off by talking about the new secondary flight plan and fix info functions, which have now been implemented in the FS Labs A320X. So I know that a lot of you are eager to learn how pilots use these functions in real life during their daily routines. And uh, the secondary flight plan and the fix info functions can be very helpful in uh, pre-planning certain situations like an engine failure on takeoff or approaching an airport which has several runways uh, for landing. So in this video I will give you all the information you will need to know to program these uh, functions. All right, so let's get started. At the moment, we've uh, finished our preparations by using our well-known diffrip mnemonic. So we've checked that the data is up to date. We've filled out the init A page. Then we filled or completed the flight plan page. Then we'll have a look at the RATNAV page select the uh, necessary VORs for departure. Then uh, the init B page with the latest actual zero fuel weight. And then of course the performance page. Once that's all completed, we'll get to the final point and that is S for secondary flight plan. Once you press the key SEC flight plan, you will see that obviously there's no secondary flight plan yet available. So you'll need to be copying the active flight plan and then the secondary flight plan will be identical to the present active flight plan. Now for departure we want to program a quick return in case of a heavy abnormal or for example an engine failure. And this saves valuable time um, should the heavy abnormal occur. Um, so you don't have to spend so much time reprogramming the whole FMS. The implementation and the activation of the return flight plan can be done extremely fast. So in our example here, we can see that destination is still Munich, runway 26 right. In order to change that, we'll select a fix from the left side and then we'll enter the new destination. And in this case, that's Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Enter that. And now at the bottom of the flight plan, we can see destination Frankfurt. We can select that, press arrival, and then choose our arrival runway. In this case, I'll be choosing ILS 25 Center. No star, no via. The reason for no star, no via is that in case of emergency, we would be expecting radar vectors. On the NAV display, you can see both the active flight plan and the secondary flight plan. And you can see the secondary flight plan has the waypoints RETGO and final fix 25 center and the landing runway. Once you click on the flight plan button, the secondary flight plan will disappear from the NAV display again. So that was not so complicated, was it? We have inserted a secondary flight plan for a quick return in case of a big failure. Now let's have a look for the engine out case on departure of runway 18. And for this, we will use the radio fix info function. Now to access that function, you'll have to press line select one key on the left side, L1 left side. That will bring you to the next menu. And there on the bottom, you'll find radio fix info. You press that, opens up a new menu where we can actually now set in the fix, in this case Frankfurt runway 18, so edit F18, and the track would be 178. 
And then on the nav display, a uh, cyan dashed line will appear. The line that you've just uh, defined, in this case, 178 out of Frankfurt, runway 18. Now we'll put in a um, circle around that fix with a distance, a radius of 25 miles. And that defines the end point of our engine out track. So this completes the preparations for now. So we have set a engine out departure track and we've made a secondary flight plan with a quick return into runway 25 center. Now before I forget, there is an option that uh, enables you to change the software standard for the FMS from S4 to S7. Now the difference between these two software standards is that S7, the newer one, will give you four fixed info pages and also the ability to enter a radius, which the S4 standard doesn't give and the S4 standard only has two fixed info pages. Also on the airline modification info page you can change the standard thrust reduction and acceleration altitudes also, you can change the standard engine out acceleration altitude. Now, with all preparations completed, we are ready for departure. Passing 10,000 feet, some items to do, switching off the landing lights, seatbelt signs off. And then we have to uh, delete a couple of things out of the uh, FMS. For one, the fix info data, clear the info there, the fix info. Next up, we have the secondary flight plan. Now remember guys, we have um, inserted a Quick return to Frankfurt, runway 25 center. Now, since this is not on the cards anymore, we can now copy the present active flight plan. And then the last thing to do is go to the RATNAV page and clear out any manually entered VOR or NDB stations. And that completes uh, all the necessary steps passing uh, 10,000 feet. We check that the engine warning display has uh, no messages Now let me show you another way to use the secondary flight plan function during cruise flight and that is how to set up a en route alternate airport in case of an emergency. So let's say we want to take Stuttgart Echo Delta Delta Sierra as our en route alternate and what we'll do is we'll take the secondary flight plan again and remember guys, we just copied it from the actual flight plan, so Munich 26 right is presently our secondary destination. It's the same procedure as on the primary flight plan. Just click on any waypoint, then enter the new airport identifier into new destination. Then click on the destination airport, arrival, select an approach type, and if you like, also select a arrival routing. And then you can see on the navigation display the new end route alternate here with the arrival route out of uh, Lima Bravo uniform. And uh, as we've learned before, selecting the primary flight plan gets rid of the secondary flight plan indications on the NAV display. Should we actually have a emergency, we can simply activate secondary and that's it. 
immediately the secondary flight plan will become active and so on the primary flight plan uh, page we now have the new routing towards Echo Delta Delta Sierra we just enter it direct to and that's it off we go to our alternate airport and in case of an emergency this can save valuable time if you um, sporadically choose alternate airports and enter them into the secondary flight plan Okay, but anyhow, we'll continue uh, now to Munich and I'll show you one more uh, way you can use the secondary flight plan function and that is where you have entered a main runway so the runway that you are expecting in our case runway 26 right however sometimes you do get a uh, different runway from air traffic control um, especially with airports that have multiple runways and so in our case what we'll do now is we're going to enter the ILS approach 26 left into the secondary flight plan so we'll copy the active just make sure we have the uh, active flight plan copied now all we need to do is um, select Munich the 26 right press arrival and then just simply change it to 26 left and I'll do no star and no via because we are expecting radar vectors let's have a look how it looks like on the navigation display and there we go we can see the primary flight plan runway 26 right and also the secondary flight plan runway 26 left with all the respective final approach fixes. So whilst we're on the downwind for runway 26 right, let's pretend air traffic control is giving us a clearance to now fly the approach onto runway 26 left. Now since we've prepared everything in the secondary flight plan all we need to do is to activate the secondary flight plan. And that's it. The ILS frequency is automatically tuned and the new routing is displayed in the primary flight plan and then all you would have to do is enter the new minimum on the performance page and if necessary enter some more or some new VOR in the B stations in the radio nav page and that's all that needs to be done you are now ready for the approach on to runway 26 left 100 above Two hundred. Minimum. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Alright guys, this completes the video on secondary flight plan and fix info pages. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. And uh, rest assured that there will be lots of more videos coming out from me um, with the FS Labs A320X. So until the next video, as always, take care and happy landings.